Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to the third and yes, final, I guess, video on the Yamato and the Stahl song beating the snot out of the out of each other and happy new year probably depending on what part of the world you're in you're probably seeing this either on the 31st of 2021 or on the 1st of 2022 or at some other time in the future because you didn't see it on either of those dates anyway happy new year so i felt like doing one more part to this i guess three part mini series that doesn't even really have its own playlist uh, just getting the Yamato and the Stahl Slung to shoot each other, so... Uh, as usual, timestamp is to where the actual violence starts. For those of you who don't have time uh, for the waffle, but for the rest of you, here's some delicious waffling at length. Uh, bit of a recap. The first video, the Stahl Slung uh, completely wrecked the Yamato, uh, because the Yamato is made to strict uh, faction standards for the Finest Arrow Custom Campaign, and the Stahl Slung is not. It has Space Age technology, and the Yamato just has armor and big guns, and that's it. The second round, uh, the Yamato completely uh, walloped uh, the Stahl Slung because uh, all the Space Age technology was ripped out of the Stahl Slung, uh, making it considerably cheaper and not as optimized for just brute force armor and guns as the Yamato is. So, uh, we're now round three. Uh, but once again, the Yamato is unchanged, she is big, she is beautiful, doesn't need any changing. She ain't getting better than what she already is. Is she gonna run into land? No, she is not. And then, oh wow, she really does take a long time to slow down. Over here, we have the latest iteration of the Four Funsies Star Slung, uh, which is called the Mortar Revenger, uh, for reasons that are very plain. The first obvious thing is that there's a lot more ducker. Uh, on this uh, version of the Star Slung, there's a lot of mortars on it. There's 4, 8, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 32 in the front, uh, plus 4, 8, 12, plus 24 in the back. So, 36 plus 24, 36 plus 24, my math is terrible, that's 60. There's 60 extra cram cannons on here. Uh, that's the first immediate uh, thing you'll notice. The other thing you'll notice is that the barbette uh, for this uh, for this gun here and this gun here have been redone because I had a look at it, comparing it to a lot of finest hour craft and thinking, actually, yeah, that makes sense. No wonder these guns get to sail so easily. So it's a nice, beautiful circle, and it is very strong. Uh, it is basically just a layer of metal, a layer of heavy armor, and then just a ridiculously large amount of metal beams just to add as uh, actors uh, ablative armor for the thing right behind it, and hopefully that'll do the trick nicely. And there's a similar thing over here, except much smaller, so it'd be interesting to see which survives better, uh, because this is a um, very similar concept, layer of metal, layer of heavy armor, except in this case it is heavy armor poles. So, not sure, I think health-wise this is better, but armor-wise, as an AC value, this is better, so who knows. And yeah, so I highly encourage anybody, uh, everybody watching to have a go just changing the style of whatever thing they've built because you learn stuff. I learned that the Star Slung has a lot of errors in it. There's a lot of propellers um, just in the lowest part of the hull, uh, which weren't working apparently. I'm not sure why, but they weren't working at all. Uh, but yeah, so apart from the mortars, the mortars, by the way, are actually all on turrets. Uh, just to uh, make placing them a lot quicker and simpler, and also so there's only local, one local weapon controller uh, controlling all of them, and the Tetris is cramped uh, Tetris, so it's kind of terrible, except for uh, jamming a lot of guns in one place, and this is a lot of guns. This is four cram cannons in a 5x5 five five cube, and these turrets can technically rotate, but they don't need to, and there's a mimic and everything, and there's uh, decorations just so they don't look too ugly. And they are not 2000 millimeters, they are 1200 millimeters, uh, optimized uh, HE spam. So, uh, these are magnificent mortars. I really need to play. Well, not magnificent. Let's not, let's not blow our own horn uh, too hard, too early. But uh, they're fun mortars, and I really need to get in the habit of using mortars more because they are ridiculously fun. 
They are terrible against anything that moves over roughly 40 meters per second, but anything that doesn't and move is big and moves in reasonable, uh, predictable straight lines uh, gets murdered uh, quite tenderly by these things. I'm not sure what murdered quite tenderly means. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of these, and I've tweaked some other things. There's also torpedoes, so where is it? Right here in the front, uh, there's a bunch of torpedoes in their very own compartment that I made specifically for them as a Christmas present to myself and the Star Song, but mostly me. So these are on rail gantries, so you can have slightly longer torpedoes than you otherwise would, and they're nothing fancy, they're just uh, one-turn torpedoes that launch downward, uh, because people told me uh, in the last video where the Star Slung and the Yamato were beating each other up that, um, you know what, medium torpedoes are okay, sonic torpedoes are okay, because finest aircraft do use that, and they don't always have them on turrets either, so it's okay, we can do that. Uh, the terrible secondaries, or kind of terrible secondaries, are still there. They're mainly here, uh, you know, they're, they're here to be included, I guess. And what else, what else, what else? There is... what else is here? I don't think... nope, no torpedoes in the back. I did this the other day and I've already forgotten what I've done. You'll notice the Star Slung is kind of heavy in the water, and that's because there is now a bunch of heavy armor uh, above decks which is messing with her buoyancy a little bit. So, in here though, uh, if I reactivate her, she is slightly faster than she used to be because while we're doing spin block shenanigans like Finest Hour, uh, there's a whole bunch of um, uh, wing turbines. Basically a bunch of stacked spin blocks uh, that help make her go slightly faster. You'll see that she's, uh, I forget what her top speed was, um, but um, I don't think it was this. Uh, it's also to compensate for the fact that I had to remove a lot of propellers in the lower hull. So yeah, she also has a much more aggressive broadside angle, so she's now maintaining a 45 degree angle uh, for one of her uh, for one of her modes, and then the reverse for the other side. And so uh, that is basically it. She I have not tested her against the Yamato. I very specifically have not. But I have tested her against the Congo, the, the uh, 1944 version, which is nowhere near as big as the Yamato, but it's, a, but it's still a big ship, and it is a serious ass paddling. So hopefully the Star Slung can either beat the Yamato or make an entertaining fight, uh, preferably entertaining fight. I have been waffling for roughly eight minutes, and so I will see you in the custom battle uh, setup right in a moment. See you there. All right, here we are in the custom battle setup. Uh, we've got all our standard uh, settings, material-wise, uh, and distance, and all that stuff. Here are the rules. You can pause if you want to read all the rules. Pretty standard. We're going to start right now. I am excited. I don't know how this is going to go. I suspect, at the very least, I, I have no idea, actually. Like, early tests were promising. I have tested this mortar arrangement against the Yamato. Can confirm it works, uh, but... Oh, I thought I started too early there. But now we're gonna have to see, aren't we? Let's see... Oh yeah, so, let's see. The Yamato is just shy of 1 million materials, uh, but the Mortar Avenger is uh, over a million. So now, uh, the Star Slung has the material advantage. So this should be very interesting, and here we go! So immediately health-wise, uh, the Star Slung is in the lead, and you see uh, both front and rear mortars can fire. That's one of the great things about mortars, doesn't matter how the ship is angled. And lots of blocks already flying off for both of them. They're probably going to collide because the Star Slung doesn't even care, and will drive uh, straight into your face. There's a big cram. Big cram. Star Slung is... I think... Let's see here. I think the Star... Yeah, the Star Slung is shorter than the Yamato, but is much longer. So, we've got uh, Thick Girl versus uh, versus Long Girl, and the mortars are on their way. They have guidance, so this should be very interesting. Whoa, that looked painful. Let's see what happened there. 
Oh yeah, strong. All right, so they're definitely gonna, they're definitely gonna collide. Ooh, right there, that could be bad. Ooh, that's mostly bad. Well, that's actually pretty bad for both of them. I really like. Oh wow, that's screenshot worthy right there. So yeah, it looks like uh, the relatively flimsy uh, bow. Uh, of the... Ooh, I say that, but... Um, yeah, the relatively flimsy wave breaker of the... of the Yamato uh, copped it worse there, but I don't think the style song particularly enjoyed that. Oof! Uh, the game is much more optimal now uh, for collisions, but that doesn't mean the, the CPU is not struggling with this. Let's see here... Wow, this would have been completely frozen. Wow! Mortars are coming. Okay, there they come. There come. The first mortars haven't even landed yet, so this is already kind of epic. You should have really stuck rams or something on it. Wee! Hopefully, this doesn't happen every time. Oh no! Oh no, the first volley! The first volley has missed. That is less than ideal. Less than ideal. But advantage is with Stalslung at this range. I say that. Oh, looks like the turret ring has managed to, uh... Managed to prove its worth there. Let's see there. That was point-blank range with at least two guns. Hallelujah! That, were, that held up to at least one shot. Now, now, girls. I think that rear cram turret is just getting hammered by all of the secondaries. Let's have a look there. Oh, wow. It's shrugging it off. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm glad I did this now. Awesome. Wow, at this range, the uh, Yamato's uh, shells are actually just bouncing off the, uh, bouncing off the water for the most part. Also, that is pretty good angling on the part of the Stalsung. Wow. This cram cannon is actually inside the Yamato. Oh, that uh, might be a problem. Woo! Very degraded mode. Well, that's what I get for telling my battleship to go full steam ahead broadside. Where are the mortars at? Oh boy. So yeah, this is going to be best out of three. Oh my word. Oh, so, yeah, big chunks are, have, have just fallen off the Yamato. I think there's a spin block. Um, doing spin block shenanigans in the prow. Well, yeah, of course there is, because that just fell off. And what else have we got here? Now, uh, this, cram, this cram cannon has basically just lost uh, all its length just due to collision damage. So, there's that. Now I'm going to see if the uh, mortars do... Uh, what they're supposed to do, which is blow things up. I wasn't expecting this. I probably should have expected this. Oh, hello. So, a uh, great thing about mortars is that they go straight for the part of the ship that tends to have lousy armor. Uh, Who boy. That was satisfying. And now, finally, these two idiots can stop their, uh, gentle hugs. Oh, boy. Those turrets have taken, uh, damage significant. I completely forgot about the torpedoes. They're actually so close. And wow, they're, yeah, they're, they're close enough that a lot of them have just kind of whiffed. But you do see them, uh, poking holes in the underside right there, which is very convenient. Oh, thank goodness, that turret's still firing, that turret's still firing, this one is also still firing, and... Kablam! 
Well, I was hoping this fight would be entertaining, and yes, so far we've seen a hug. And also the uh, main guns on the stealth line have had their range limiters removed, so in finest hour with 600 meter per second crams, there's no reason uh, for them not to fire whenever they like at whatever distance they like, so that's a thing. Let's see, are there mortars incoming? Yes, there are. We. Oh, tell me that's going to land. It is. It's going to land well. Yep. There goes that turret. Yet yeah, mortars are absolute death uh, to turrets. Um, not because they land right on... Well, if they land right on top of them, it's a little bit hard to defend. Like, you know, a little bit hard to defend. It looks like the Star Sun's going to take this, which I'm happy about, because... If nothing else, aside from fun, it's a great learning exercise to basically uh, pick a ship and say, Right, I will beat this thing using X, Y, and Z, for instance. And then you do that, and then you learn things along the way. Wow, the, the bow of the uh, Yamato has definitely seen better days. I freaking love cram mortars. Man, I should use them way more often. You'd use them all the time. It might actually retrofit the original Style Slung with a whole bunch of cram mortars. Or rather, I should make a Style Slung Mark III. Simply because... Just... Just because, yeah, just in going through the Style Slung Mark II to change her into the Revenger model... Um, yeah, it's just... It's just I noticed a whole lot of things I could have done better, so now I'm probably going to do them better. Let's have a look at the torpedoes, because there's a non-stop conga line of them. They're not really doing that much. Uh, the Yamato is actually kind of torpedo-proof, just because of how big she is. Uh, they tend to uh, split all over the place. Is there mortars incoming? Doesn't look like it. I think we've just gone out of range for mortars. Not out of range of the main guns, though. Let's see... I have not moved the time fuses on the main crams. I probably should have, uh, because uh, we are playing with just uh, just to show everybody. Automatic detection is set to one, and that plays merry hell with time fuses. Also, um, I suspect automatic detection makes uh, mortars kind of broken because it means that they just don't have any form of error really. I think we just clipped a barrel. Yeah, we did. Was that a cram shell? Yes, it was, but... Ooh, is it gonna hit? Yep. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, so now that we've uh, moved away from each other, Yamato is gonna get some uh, choice shots in, uh, because it does take a little bit of time uh, for the Stalslung uh, to turn around. Because uh, she's a big girl. Uh, she's a big girl with bad steering. Like, despite my efforts, I like. That's another thing. Uh, Star Song Mark III is gonna, like, go all out on the steering. It's gonna have. She's still gonna be a canoe, but. Uh, because, you know, ships tend to get shaped like canoes no matter what. Like, I tell people this and they're like, uh huh, yeah, yeah, keep making excuses for your canoe addiction. But yeah. Uh, she's gonna be long. Oh my word. Hell was that? Okay then. Something important just fell off. And by important, I mean big. Let's see here. Yep. Another mortar volley is incoming. And yep, the star song is coming around again. Yep, there's the other mortar volley. Oh, yes. Yeah, the Yamato's not out of the fight yet. She's still got some guns firing. She could, I don't know, accidentally run over the style song and uh, do horrible things to it. Let's go have a look at the style song, actually. How's she doing? How are you doing damage wise, girl? Have you been eating your weeds? Alrighty, so... Turret is surviving. This turret is... 
surviving, kind of. Yeah, that turret ring was a good move. Alright, so big holes, big holes in the armor. Big holes in the armor, but otherwise it's holding together. Holding it together. Over here as well, holding it together. Holding it together indeed. Oh wait, these are... Yeah, we've had some barrels snubbed on uh, these uh, cram waters here. Let's follow this uh, cram shell to its destination. Actually, there's other cram shells already uh, getting very close to their destination. Let's see what their destiny is. Also, screenshot. See here, that's gonna land. Yep, right on the superstructure. It's a very effective way of clearing the decks, actually. So, hopefully, the ooh, I wonder, I wonder where these are going. These are going. Right there on the smoke funnel. Where are those going? Those are going right there, not blowing up anything significant. And then those landed... Wow. Uh, yeah, cram orders on uh, automatic detection settings are a little bit busted because they tend to all land in exactly the same place. In fact, they're doing very well. I think they're doing great. I think, if nothing else, the torpedoes are going to win this, because there's a lot of them. And they just don't stop. Let's see... More mortars incoming, this is perfect mortar range, it looks like this pattern is working quite well. Drive by mortarings. Say goodnight to your superstructure. Yeah, now it's a bit staggered. And now that the uh, let's see, what angle are you going for, girl? Going for that angle. Is the Yamato listing or is it just me? Okay, she's listing a little bit. And once the mortars start raining in, start raining in non-stop. Kaplow, kabangi, kabangi! My goodness, man! I just want to make a giant canoe now and just fill it with mortars. It make me so happy. More incoming? Yes, more incoming. So as they get more staggered, uh, they're gonna do less overall, uh, unless they do that, which is uh, exposing the gun wells. Uh, of the Yamato. See, now I don't want to miss any of the mortar fun. Mortars are more fun. That is scientific fact, and good luck proving me wrong. Because you can't. Right, let's see. How are you doing, Stully? Man, it's only been five minutes, but there's been so much action. I've got to get rid of those time fuses, man. Got to get rid of those time fuses, man. Yeah! Here. How are we doing here? Are there holes being put? Yep, so the mortars are not in the most well armored of compartments. Um, but uh, that's okay. They're extra darker. They don't need to all survive, but it's just helpful if some of them do. I think this is kind of history repeating itself, it's just, it goes to show you that if you're going to make a big canoe, a lot of the, you've got to use the length. You've got to use the length uh, to jam as much ducker into it as possible. It sounds obvious, but you'd be amazed at how often people, aka me, forget to do that. Aha, ha ha, to hell with your turret. Have some one meter wide shells landing on your face. Yep, so Yamato is definitely not winning this one because uh, one gun is gone completely, one's disabled, and other has uh, had its barrels snubbed a little bit. Yep, and yep, 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 yep. Another, another one bites the dust. Oh yes. 
Oh yes, that feels so good. Cram malt is, people might say that's a little bit cheesy. Until you remember that uh, cram malt is, I guess it is cheesy because uh, for big, slow-ish capital ships like this, cram mortars are like the hardest of hard counters. Because they're bypassing this incredibly thick uh, belt armor and just going straight to the deck. Which is why, historically, uh, bombs dropped from planes were so good against um, uh, battleships. Because it's just, you know what, bugger your, uh, all, where, your, where all your armor is, and we're just gonna, you know, go th in through the top. Man. Love cram so much. This is crammage. So much crammage. Kablooey. I should also mention those mortars have a altitude fuse on them, so the moment they dip below the waterline, they explode. Uh, which is great, because it means that they don't just uh, fall through holes in their target. Uh, they... Uh, what do they do? They just explode. Well, they explode just in the cavity right there. Okay, yep, there goes one turret. There goes a turret. Good night, Irene. I was about to say we might need to speed this up to finish, uh, because the Yamato can't fight back anymore, but I don't think it's going to be uh, that long, uh, because, well, the mortars have their target, and it's just non-stop artillery raining down, and it's just uh, a wonderful time for everybody except the Yamato. A little bit staggered here, there, and everywhere. Big volley, yep, here's the big volley. Big volley, wee. Just drills a hole straight through it. Beautiful. The Star Song isn't entirely unscathed. Yeah, I think that um, top cram, uh, that uh, super firing cram cannon, uh, has seen better days. How's the rear of this doing? Aha! Torpedoes doing what torpedoes do best and uh, sniping off the propulsion. Let's have a quick look. Actually, we can look at the Star Slung uh, when the Yamato's dead, because it's going to be dead. Well, there it is! To damage. She is dead. We've won! Now, I would like to point out this is not me trying to show off. Uh, because, well, I don't know, what am I, show what am I showing off exactly? The original Star Slung Mark II beat the Yamato handily, and the second one didn't because I basically ripped all her most effective weapons off. And this one is, I don't know, this is fun. It's like you, I have not made anything with like remotely serious cram mortars in a long time. And I was reminded of their existence the other day. Uh, there was a comment pointing out that um, the next Krampus that I make needs to have cram mortars. And you know what? I agree. It should. It should have at least 200 cram cannons, uh, most of which are mortars, and it should like just bomb the hell out of everything. So yeah. The Yamato is disintegrating. Very sad for the Imperial Japanese Navy. So sad, so sad, it's a sad, sad situation. Stop Yamato Cruelty 2022. Because uh, this, uh, this madness has gone off long enough. I sincerely hope I do get to, uh, in my finest hour playthrough, uh, 1v1 uh, the Yamato with uh, the Komodo, which is the battleship I have in that campaign right now. Because that'll be epic. It'll be so epic. It'll be the epicest. Man. Is it bad that I love to blow up beautiful craft in From the Depths? I think it's bad, but good, but also understandable. Because... Man, it's just, you know, I guess it's good to see beautiful craft and from the depths do anything, really. Like, getting blown up, blowing other things up. I didn't really mind, um, well, in the moment it was kind of like, ah, oh, my baby, but, um, I didn't really mind uh, the uh, Yamato just beating up uh, the stripped-down stall song. So, let's see, that barrel's still intact, that one, let's see here, what's 
happening here? This one seems fine. Let's see here. Yeah, this one. Oh, hello. Was that a hole? Nope, no hole. No hole whatsoever. Wow, like most of the... Uh... Let's see what happened here. Anything? Anything? Nothing? No, this held up. This held up just fine. Wow! You know what really helps with um, stopping your ship from getting blown to hell and back is uh, put more Daka on it so it blows the other thing to hell and back first. That was a success, and yay, mortars. Another screenshot. I'm not sure why I'm taking so many screenshots. It's just fun. But now, let's do that again. Best of three. And... Check everything is how I want it and start again. Are they going to have a big hug uh, for round two? I don't know. Maybe something silly will happen. Let's see here. Is a silly thing going to happen? Where are they? Whoop. There we go. We need to go look at them. Alright, also it's interesting the Yamato carries approximately twice as much material storage uh, as the Star Slung. So that's interesting, or at least this version of the Star Slung. Let's see here. Big cram shots. Alright, I want to see what these initial cram shots do. Because if they don't do amazing things, that's going to be very sad. Um, I would call that amazing. Like, there's pretty much nothing on the front of the Yamato that's particularly important, so mainly that's just pretty uh, block confetti. But, yeah, let's see, let's quickly go over here. I'm just pausing the game so I can move the camera faster. Let's see what's happened here. What's done here? I'm seeing blocks falling off, I'm seeing torpedoes fly. Thank goodness for sloped armor, that's very nice. Let's follow the torpedoes. Conga line of torpedoes. Conga, conga, conga. Lots of blocks. Block confetti. Wee. Let's see where these hit. I might need to modify the concept of these things. Yeah, you know what? I should start listening to people telling me to angle the frag on torpedoes up. Alright, let's see here... Mortars are still on their way, are they gonna... Yep, exactly the same thing's gonna happen now. They're going to hug. Question is, are they going to hug in exactly the same way? It looks like it. It looks like... Oh no. No! That's a mortar compartment. That's bad though. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. Oh my lord. Oh dear. Oh well. Oof. Well, I hope the Yamato doesn't aim for that spot on the hull because that'll be a lot of stuff. Um, that'll be a lot of damage. Once again, uh, this guy is basically inside of the Yamato. Well then. No, to, to sell. Oh no, the mortars missed again. They tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Oh wow, I think. Uh oh. The Yamato might capsize uh, the Stall Slung. She might just do it. She might just do it. It'll be jolly rude. They're stuck. <laughs> they are legit stuck. Oh no! Oh no! She's rolling over! If the, um, if the Yamato actually does manage to flip, uh, the Stalsung, it's basically over because, uh, because the Stalsung relies partially on hydrofoils in order to, um, in order to stay up out of the water. So if she's flipped upside down, the hydrofoils are gonna pull her in the wrong direction. Oh my word. Oh, that is significant damage. Yamato's all ramming speed. I'm not sure who to blame for this ramming thing. I think both of them, really. 
Because both of them are big fat ships that don't turn very well because they're too big. Hang on, are there mortars on the way? Yes, there are. Mortars, save me! Save the stars lung! That front cram cannon is going to do terrible, terrible things uh, if it gets permanently stuck inside the Yamato. Let's see, are they coming down? Yes, they are, very slowly. Uh, the muzzle velocity of those mortars is about 150 meters, uh, by the way, which seems to work pretty well. Oof. Well, you, you missed your chance to capsize, uh, Yamato. I think, actually, as well, that the movement of the barrel on the turret is just kind of swatting the Yamato around, because the physics are wonky when turrets do that. And it looks like... Yep, much expl... Oh, wow. That could not be better. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good night, that secondary gun. And good night, uh, that little bit of superstructure. We... Damn. Much fight. Very well. I guess the only thing uh, we're learning from this, if we're learning anything, is that uh, having a battleship that is uh, more expensive and has more guns on it uh, might be an advantage. You know, it just it just might be. You never know. It just uh, that might be an advantage um, for all your battleship needs. Once upon a time, that collision would have uh, completely frozen me game, like completely. Let's see, is the Yamato still moving? She's... yep, she's picking up speed again. And now's the part where she can, uh, get her revenge a little bit. Uh, because, uh, because once she's got the range and all her guns are on target, it's gonna be a little bit better for her. Is she doing better than the first time? I'm not sure. No, I think she's doing worse, actually. I think, um, whoop! Yeah, once the trails are off, you can see it's like, wow, cram mortars. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this is why I'm not fond of making my ships too wide. Not just specifically for cram mortars, but for just anything that comes down from above. Yeah. I feel bad now, slightly, because I might have gone overboard. Just a little bit. And there's that little APS on the style song, just helping out, just chipping off blocks here, there, and everywhere. Are there more mortars on the way? Yes, there are. I should make a mortar craft. Just pure. The problem with pure mortar mortars is that that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Oh, please land somewhere painful. Uh, what what is below decks right here? What is below decks? That appears to be an engine compartment. I wonder if it'll survive. The answer might surprise you because it's no. Oh boy. Whoop, just sheared some barrels off. Okay then. I think the st I think the star song is still uh, is salty that her uh, that her f that her second stripped down version got beaten so handily. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like this this uh, this looks personal. <laughs> What's happening right now? Yep, and another gun is gone. I do seem to recall ages ago one of uh, Menti's uh, tournaments, one of his uh, numerous battleship tournaments, which I've been a bad boy and I have not been keeping up with, so sorry about that, Menti. If you don't know who Menti is, he does From the Depths tournaments. Uh, pretty regularly, so in uh, one of his battleship brawl tournaments, just cram mortars featured a lot and they were like, wow, how do you defend against this? And the, actually, the one tournament uh, I've entered was one of Menti's tournaments. And the one advantage that my long skinny thing, it wasn't even that canoe-like really, uh, had is that uh, cram mortars tended to miss her because she was so skinny. Uh, and that was the only advantage she had. She was kind of a crap boat. I still 
look back on her and think like, what was I thinking? I knew how to build a tournament worthy craft, at least in theory, and I didn't do it. So yeah, that's uh, that was uh, that was my stupid fault, I guess. Wow, I think that have we lost all propulsion. Oh my goodness, the Yamato, the Yamato is crippled. Now the final blow must be struck. Yeah, now she's the great thing about cram mortars is that uh, once the enemy is crippled and slowing down a lot more, uh, they get a lot easier to hit. Uh, we're out of range of those mortars now, though, so that's not going to happen. Poo boy. Now I'm wondering if this version of the Star Slum can take on the old one. I mean, it wouldn't because I've uh, taken the missile defenses off, but still. That'd be interesting. I really need to do, do a tournament of my own. That is my New Year's resolution. Get that tournament on the go. Because it needs to happen. Yep, oh, here's the mortars. I do recall at one point in development, um, cram mortars had a problem in that um, the shells would despawn before they hit the target. That is a long... How long is that? I forget how long these tiles are. I think they're like four, five kilometers. So that's... That's... I don't know. There needs to be a rangefinder debug tool or something. Or maybe there is, and I'm just stupid, and I don't know where it is. Here it is. Wow, that's quite a shallow angle, actually. We Death to superstructure! People remembering how I usually do, how I do a lot of my basic canoe builds might very go well say, Well, of course you'd say that, you superstructureless heathen. I do try sometimes, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just, like, easy not to do superstructure. Although technically superstructure can just be a box above deck and, you know, you can call it a day and go home. Ah, oh, yes, the mortars. Oh, the mortars, they make me so happy. I am so sorry, Jadog. But this is so fun to me. This makes me feel good. It makes me feel good about the coming year of 2022. Ouch! That cram cannon hit right... Um, right in the... What do we call it? Oh, please don't collide again. That would be bad. Or it would be epic. Who knows? I really need to make 2,000mm cram orders. Because as much fun as these 1,000mm things are, or 1,200 rather, um, we could go bigger. We could definitely go bigger. My goodness. Ouch. Oof. Oh yeah, these might... Nope, they're not going to collide. Wow, so there goes the entire superstructure. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, and there goes that turret. The fact that they land beh just behind a turret is just so vicious. Like, who armors the back of their turret as much as the front? Well, Jadog, apparently, judging by the looks of all that heavy armor in there. But it still wasn't enough. Nerf cram orders. Actually, don't do that. They're very easy to avoid. Just don't use a big slow thing and they can't hit you, like at all. Whee. I was actually kind of worried momentarily that cram mortars wouldn't uh, work well uh, with uh, with finest hours uh, times two cram speed modifier. But it turns out the default max velocity setting works just fine for cram cannons. Damn. This is brutal. This is possibly more brutal than I intended. What am I saying? Brutality is what we're here for. All of you who skipped ahead to see the violence, I hope you're happy. I hope your bloodlust is satiated for the coming new year. And you can go on with peace in your heart. <laughs> peace in your heart and goodwill towards all human beings. But not battleships, apparently. Whoop, there's... Yep. Oh, I should have filmed that. I did film it. I meant screenshot it. 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, lesson learned. If uh, if a battleship's giving you trouble, uh, blow it up from the top down. That works very well. Damn, that's fun. Damn, that's fun. Oh, it feels good. Like, here's the thing about uh, creating a video where you get one of your craft to absolutely destroy someone else's craft. It's hard not to feel a little guilty because your dog... Like, I don't know if your dog did this entire ship uh, by themselves. If they did, holy crap. Uh, but, like, this was a labor of love and I just blew it up. Like, so presumably, uh, similar feelings of, oh no, uh, would result uh, as what happened to me when the Stalslung uh, modified got her ass kicked. So, there is that. But I can't deny it is awesome to... This is from the depths at its finest, really. It's to build a big battleship and fight another big battleship and overcome all odds, uh, or at least some odds, and make a battleship that can do the trick nicely. So, yeah, that's a nice entry into 2022. Lots of cram cannons. I might have to put these cram mortars or improved versions of them on the Komodo in Finest Hour, which I will resume uh, streaming in the coming weeks. Uh, so, I did... This is going out on a stream day. And so, no stream. Sorry, 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 sorry. But hopefully this will satiate your From the Depths uh, blowing upness uh, instead. So, yeah. That's basically it, really. That's uh, That was two fights. Handily won by the modified Starslung. Who would have thought that sticking... What was it? 60 more guns on a ship... Uh, would make it more effective in combat. Like, did you know that? Like, who would have guessed? Who would have thunk? I'm proud of the these turret rings now. That held up extremely well. As did this one. I think the fact it was small helped a bit. Also steep angles and all that jazz. I think, yeah, people told me that like a, you know, a smaller broadside angle would help uh, with the angled armor thing. And I think they were right. I think they were right. This is um, it's a fair amount of repair work happening here, but yeah, there's no gaping holes or anything. So, that was le epic, uh, as they say. So, yeah. That is our first video of 2022, unless you're in a different time zone, and we just go, Ugh! okay. Whoops. No! I followed a cram shell. Let me lock on to you. Let us bask in your crammy goodness. Okay. Yay, there we go. So, that is the final installment of the Stalslung uh, versus the Yamato. Or I guess three different versions of the Stalslung uh, versus the Yamato. Don't think of this as the Stalslung uh, having a two out of three win. It's more like it is the original version, which is not a fair fight. And then the second version, which was a more fair fight. Uh, and then this version, which is would be a fair fight, except I went a little bit stir-crazy and put too much guns on this version. So, sorry not sorry. And with that, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths and in the coming new year. Happy New Year and farewell!